Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rob, this is RH Midwest Comics, and I've got another top 10 list. This is, again, for the top 10 comic books sold on eBay. This is going to be for the month of March. I've done this for a few months now, so I'm going to keep it going as long as there's interest. Um, here's what I do. I go to eBay, I look at the sold comics in the comic book category. I sort by the highest price. But then I've got to do some research. I look at eBay's Terrapeak data, and I also look at GPA, just to make sure that the book's actually sold. Because when you look in the sold listings, not all of them are sold. There are a couple examples again this month. I'm not going to go through them necessarily, but a couple more I found that showed as sold, but um, they actually weren't. Um, so anyway, I use Terapeak and I use GP analysis just to confirm those things. But uh, so I did find the highest paid prices for comic books and I put them into a top 10. And we're going to start from number 10 and work our way to the top. So here we go. And by the way, if you looked at the thumbnail, this month, March, was extremely heavy on Spider-Man. And you'll see it as I go through the list, but uh, everyone was Spider-Man crazy in the month of March. All right, here we go. Starting off at number 10, Amazing Fantasy 15. This was a CGC 4.5, and it was restored, as you can see here. The price came in at $14,310. When you look at what was restored on this comic book, it was specifically all three edges trimmed so a lot of restored books this month a lot of them some of them in the top 10 a lot of them uh, just barely outside the top 10 and uh, from a seller named Probstein who's really getting more and more into comic books Probstein's huge on trading cards as a lot of you know but um, there's no unrestoring trimmed edges if it was just color touch you could do something about it potentially and uh, have it scraped off but uh, you're not bringing trimmed edges back, unfortunately. So, all right, let's keep going. Coming in at number nine. And the only DC represented book on the list, showcase number four. And it was a raw book. This is the first appearance of Silver Age Flash. And this one came in at $14,889. So just barely under $15,000. Um, very nice book. As you can see, and I'm guessing that whoever bought this is going to clean it and press it and submit it to CGC. Unfortunately, DC isn't really well represented on these top 10 lists, and hopefully that changes in the near future because there's so much history with DC. But for this month, this is the only one. All right, let's keep going. Coming in at number 8, Amazing Spider-Man, number 14. Coming in at a CGC... 9.0 for $15,000 even. Really, really nice book. And um, as you can see here in the picture, it's off white to white pages. Only thing that would have made this better is white pages for the grade anyway. But still, uh, just a really nice book. And $15 or $15,000 is nothing to sneeze at. Very strong price for first appearance of the Green Goblin. Coming in at number seven, yep, another Spider-Man book. Amazing Spider-Man number one, CGC 4.5, also coming in at $15,000. So this is the second appearance of Spider-Man. First appearance of the Chameleon, and I believe first appearance of J. Jonah Jameson as well. So $15,000, strong price. Again, not as strong as things were in 2021 and beginning of 22 seen that with all the big keys right I mentioned that in almost every video where I do a price analysis but um, still really good price for spider-man number one all right rounded out the bottom five of the top ten a fantastic four number one CGC 3.5 coming in just under sixteen thousand dollars also really really nice book this is the origin and first appearance of Marvel's first family and uh, it really nice looking 3.5 um, looks like maybe some Marvel chipping on the right hand side as a lot of the early Marvel books did but um, still very nice book and um, 
good price. Good price for that book too. I think uh, 3.5s used to be well over $20,000. All right, let's get into our top five. And coming in at number five, yep, you guess it, another Spider-Man book. Amazing Fantasy 15, CGC 6.0, and another restored version. $19,802 was the paid price on that one. And if we look at the details of what was restored on this book, again, all three edges trimmed. So that was a, a common theme here where there were a lot of Spider-Man books that came to market, some of them restored, and a lot of trimming that happened to make the book look a little nicer. And that's probably why I got a 6.0, and that's the trade-off, right? You get rid of those, those ugly edges and you get a nicer grade, but you get a purple label as well. I'm not a fan of purple labels, but I know some people don't mind it, and to each their own. Still, just under $20,000 for this beauty. Coming in at number four, Incredible Hulk number one, CGC 3.0, coming in at $21,999, confirmed paid. First appearance of the Incredible Hulk in his gray form in the only book out of the original run where he was gray because they had some ink problems and how it printed in the book and starting in issue number two he turned green and was green for a really really long time until probably sometime in the copper age when they started showing the gray hulk every now and then um very very strong price twenty one thousand nine hundred ninety nine dollars all right let's get to the top three coming in next we'll get back to the Spider-Man trend here, which will be a trend throughout the rest of the uh, uh, the rest of the show here. Number three, Amazing Fantasy 15, CGC 9.2, restored, thirty-one thousand seven hundred eighty-two dollars. Just a, a heck of a book in terms of condition. So the restoration on this book is really significant. There's color touch, there were pieces added, the spine was reinforced, it was re-glossed, and the cover was cleaned. Or maybe it was the whole book, it just says cleaned on it. So, um, a lot of work done, not going to be undone on this book, but you know what? For a 9.2, that's a nice book for someone to have in their collection. And even though it's restored, somehow getting uh, just under 32000 for it seems like a pretty good deal. But again, right, Restored is not my thing, but um, nice, nice book. Coming in at number two, another Amazing Fantasy 15, CGC 4.5. Coming in just over $38,000. Really nice looking book. And um, no restoration on this one at all. Beautiful off-white pages. I know, it could be better, right? You could have off-white to white, you could have white pages, but I still think off-white is really nice for a book that old. Just over $38,000, nice book. And guess what comes in at number one? You guessed it, Amazing Fantasy 15, CGC 5.0 for $55,000. And when you look at these two prices, um, the $55,000 for a 5.0, and it's, by the way, cream to off-white pages, it really makes that 4.5 seem like a bargain. You know, I mean, that's just my opinion, but uh, that is a big difference for a 4.5 to a 5.0, you know, $17,000, that's a lot. I know it's a big book, but um, I figured it would have been more like maybe $5,000. So anyway, as you can see, Seven of the ten books were Spider-Man books, so Spider-Man dominates the March top ten sales on eBay, and that is it for this month. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you like it, please give me a thumbs up, and I'll keep doing this each month. Um, that's it. I've got a like I said earlier, I've got some more videos coming your way. Price analysis, people really like those, so I'm going to get back to doing some of those, and they're going to be updates of the books that people really wanted to know about. So stay tuned for that within the next few days. And until the next time we talk, have a great day.